check out this beauty, guys. This is a new one from HG. It's a P803A eight-wheel drive beast. Weighs about 10 kilos. It's, uh, it's a tip truck. It can hold five kilos at the back. It's a light and sound. It's a pro model. It's a new edition. Links in the description when you go check it out. But it looks awesome. I love it. Excited. First one of these I've had. I've had a few HG models, and they've been fantastic. Pretty much 80% metal construction, two-speed transmission, and uh, yeah, really scale look. So if you're interested in the video, stick around. We'll give it its unbox and function test and a quick little drive outside. But there'll be many more videos than this coming in the near future. Alrighty, guys, here it is. It's a box. Nothing too exciting about a box, but they do present it well. It's a HEM TT, or it's a, well, it's a US, US military truck. It uh, stands for Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. There are seven different models, and uh, you can also get several different models of this truck as well. You've got the 801, you've got the 802. Two and you got the 803A, uh, which I have. Uh, this one has a five kilo. The bed lifts up and down. It has a five kilo weight limit. It's also the pro model, so it's got light and sound as well. So basically, here it is. You would have seen these particular ones um, around the internet as well, and this one here as well. It's really nice. Now this one, I do believe that's the 801, the uh, tan color one here, which you can. It's got like a uh, you can attach a trailer to it, but I haven't really seen a trailer yet. That's the tan one as well. That is the uh, 802. But quick look over the box. Now these things weigh a ton. I've taken the actual sleep out of this packet so I can actually move it around. It probably weighs around a good, uh, you know, 8 or 10 kilos or about 20 pounds, I believe. So that is damn heavy. Now the box gives you a little bit of a history about the truck. You can read that uh, on your own accord if you'd like there. But uh, it's an 8x8, it's an 8-wheel eight drive behemoth. And I have uh, several other uh, cars manufactured by these guys. Uh, the Hummer and another uh, bomb-proof truck. That looks pretty cool. So, as you can see, I reckon probably about 70-80% to 80 of this is actually made out of metal. Now, it's, uh, it's brushed with a brushed uh, ESC, obviously. But it's got a back here up to 15 to 20 amps. Now that's amazing because it is four-wheel steering at the front. It's got two 15 kilo steering servos, and they are actuated. They use the uh, the cable style. It's also got a steering so a uh, uh, throttle servo, not a throttle servo, but another servo. Sorry for the lift bed and another one for the actual high and low two-speed transmission. But there we go. There. But enough of the box. We don't want to know about a bloody box, Steve. You all guys are saying. We'll kick that to the curb. And this is actual sleeve that it comes in. Check out this. Oh. Pretty awesome, eh? Now it's a if you I guess you really want to take it around, you could. Show your buddies, show how cool you are and uh, with this foam case. It's like the if you ever had a phantom product like a DJI Phantom, exactly like that. But uh, here we go. Wow, check out that. It's even got lifting handles and everything. Holy crap. That is cool. And let's see if I've got a hair in it. I won't be needing that. I haven't got any hair. But anyway, let me put the camera down and I'll lift this bad boy and extract it out of this uh, cocoon. Okay, now, seeing it on camera doesn't really do it justice. You need to see one in person, just how impressive they really are because... The level of detail is really amazing. It's got a combination of, obviously, rubber for the tyres, but plastic and uh, metal construction. Like I said, it's probably 75 to 80% metal. But uh, just check out these little, uh, this bed here as well. Got these little latches. You pull them down. They're not just uh, flapping in the wind. You actually have these little latches here where you need to undo and tighten to actually pull the things down. But how cool is that? See? How sick. But, see... This one looks very similar to the other olive drab behemoth, but this bed actually tilts up and it can apparently lift five kilos. So that's pretty interesting. Now the wheels here and the, the rubber feel really nice. It's got like a combo of plastic and the inner hub, I believe, is metal, just like the other models that I've seen as well. Rubber mud flaps here as well. Check out this for your scale, guys. Now, obviously everything works up here. 
And these are cool because they are rubber, so if you do roll it or you inevitably hit something, it just flaps around in the breeze. No biggie there. But uh, check out these. You do have a little a little latch here to open the door. You push this down. See, like that. It's pretty hard to do one-handed. Push it down and you can open the door just like that. Check out that nice scale interior. Imagine this thing weathered up, like a few washers or something like that, or just good running outside in the mud. It'd look even better, but check out that interior. That's all plastic in there, but it's even got like a nice sticker on the dashboard. Very well done. I, uh, I can tell you that much. These are kind of that rubbery kind of material as well, so they don't just break off, which is, you know, I like to see. Nice jerry cans fuel intakes like uh, air intake system all this is plastic but this great up here is metal and down in there you have a massive 550 motor and it's encased in like a, a motor shroud as well to make it look really realistic but that's all like under you won't hardly even see it it's all hidden underneath this shroud that's all plastic there we can move it around Wow, it's so heavy. I'm, that's why I'm in my back room here, so I've got a little bit more room and I can show you guys. Now, it's not the most attractive front end as well, only your face and mother would love, but it is the light and sound unit. Uh, so, you know, it's going to have a, the best of both worlds, this guy's. Pretty sweet. Here we go, moved it into the light a little bit better for you guys. Toe shackles. I've got a vent here as well. That's all metal grill. I do believe it has a fan underneath there as well. Same deal there with the side here. Little uh, latch. Open her up. We can have a look in the passenger seat. Little grab handle there. They're just uh, applied stickers for the detail inside, but uh, it does look pretty sweet. Little grab handle. This tyre you would be able to use as well. Does look uh, exactly like the others, and they are like a beadlock system as well. By the way, that rolls really well, so it's got a high and low gear. But yeah, that's got really nice resistance there. You got a little. Uh, I think these are actually where the. Let me get this open if I can, one-handed. Not there. We go. So there is your receiver, all up in there, and the other side is the uh, actual. Um, ESC, your brushed ESC, and the Beck 15 amp Beck, which is ridiculous. You do have some nice realistic. Uh, get it in the light. There we go. Realistic rope there. That's pretty cool. Actually, yeah, it actually turns as well. And the ladder, the C channel ladder frame is all metal, obviously. Now, if I can uh, I'll flip it on its side for you guys. That is, <laughs> it's a lot going on down there, isn't it? And that is where your money's going if you do want to purchase this. The link's in the description if you want to go check it out. But uh, it has, they have all the different models as well. This one is the top of the range. But as you can see, here is your steering system. So you've got two 15 kilo steering servers apparently. And you have your wire system here. I think it's very similar to the Capo models. So you have your wire system down here, you've got the, for the left and right, very complicated, but it does work, it does work well from some of the videos I've seen. Now you've got your leaf, leaf uh, suspension there, and there as well, and it's a combination of uh, plastic and obviously metal leaf springs. But all the uh, axle housings, uh, they are all metal. Everything pretty much here is metal. So you've got your metal drive shafts, you've got one, two, three, for drive shafts, I do believe the transfer case is all metal. Everything here is metal. Even these links, everything like that, is all metal. A nice coating of olive drab there as well. But underneath here, we have several other motors. Let's see in there for the actuator for the the bed. There, it's not hydraulics. It's actual. It might be like um, that worm gear. Not too sure, but it. How many servers? So I've got another server here. I think I said four in the beginning, but it might be three with that uh, other little motor there for the actuator. But it definitely has two at the front. And you can just see 
what a beautiful piece of kit. I do believe the servos are situated under there, and there's that metal grill. A nice bash guard here, which is all nice and metal as well. Pretty damn sweet. Now, while I got the truck flipped upside down, I want to show you the steering system there. So you've got two steering servos at the front. Feeding, there's like little tubes in there that's feeding the uh, wire running through. rear end isn't it now to get the battery now I do believe you have to take out these two screws you just pull it pull this little end cap off slide your screws in there uh, slide your screws in there slide your battery in there and you're ready to go now it does have quite nice articulation um, these differentials are not locked they are open so and I don't you cannot lock them from uh, from what I've read and uh, other people that have had it I have not seen you be able to lock these differentials so maybe you can open them up and do that uh, you know maybe a mod not too sure but uh, I'll spin it around now in this you'll see there is your back and because that's going to be powering up all those servos for you as you can see there's a fair bit there and there's your electronic speed controller on off switch on the side just there as well but that's pretty impressive 15 to 20 amp max that's that's some pretty serious uh, power there now obviously I'm not going to be able to do this back up again should have done that <laughs> now it also, does also come with this box Check out that guys, you also do get uh, three drivers, you get 2mm, 2.5 and a 1.5mm which is pretty cool because you can use that to install these accessories like these mud guards as well um, that go obviously on the front and rear of the, the bogies there. Another, some more tools, you got a 4 way wrench and another little spanner, cable ties, some wire, maybe that's spare wire if you ever need it for the steering servo, pretty beefy. Just like brake cable wire on a, on a push bike. Heaps of hardware. Wow, there we go. Oh, these little accessories, they go inside the bed here on the other side as well, but I'll do that off camera later on. You don't need to watch me do that. And some more hardware as well. You also get a 16 channel, I oh know, right? 16 channel radio um, and a bucket load of instruction. You get some stickers. Here's your uh, little instruction manual regarding that particular controller. It gives you what everything does, but uh, I'm not too sure. Not everything is utilized on this model, same as the other ones, the other models that I have, this particular brand. But uh, there we go. Okay. Make sure you follow what, you know, don't do what these guys are doing. But apart from that, that's it. So it tells you a lot about uh, where everything is, like I just showed you. For example, there is your steering. The steering gear and how to adjust and all that kind of good stuff if you need to and also how to adjust or if you need to put the uh, gear shift servo back in all that kind of good stuff your ESC your back and all that kind of stuff there as well not going to bore you too much of that and this one does have sound as well so it gives you where the sound system is mounted and that is right up underneath that front cab pretty impressive there's a lot of stuff going on there that's hidden and uh, I wouldn't want to get everything open to see how it all works because that be a pain in the ass 
but there we go there so it gives you a basic schematics of how everything is connected so you do have what says here one two three and a spare servo so it says four servos there and there's your basic layout cool now you get another structure manual as well and this one is regarding oh this one's probably how to put it together yeah there we go so this one's if you had it as a kit for example and you wanted to build it or if you want to pull it apart and do some maintenance this is the one you would use to uh, put it all back together again so pretty cool and one more here just explaining oh the dump truck so the explaining the functions of the dump truck so basically that little toggle switch just here on the controller uh, lifts it up and down. Now I just want to mention to get to the wheels or the nuts sorry you have to remove this little decorative piece and you can just kind of pry it off I just used like a little uh, blade just popped it off you can use a flathead it's got your basic nut there just slide it off and there is your all familiar hex yeah, everything you know nothing out of the ordinary it's got a little uh, it's all metal little pin there nothing out of the ordinary but uh, what I did notice, I wanted to change it because when I was looking around, there's a screw missing. Just there, as you can see. So that's not good. So, like I was looking around, I couldn't see anything else. So, some quality control dude was on his brake or CBF that day. So, I'll, I'll replace that straight away. But at least it, uh, you can see the wheels as well. Now, it's, uh, like I said, it's like a bead, bead lock system. But uh, the plastic and this part's metal, the outer, the, uh, the inner inside, the closest to the chassis, as plastic. And this cap, that's plastic as well. So at the back of the truck here, I forgot to mention, the, uh, the back of the dump bed is swivel. And also, when you install the battery, you've got two screws here, like I mentioned before. But make sure when you pull this rear plate off, you do it uh, gently, because uh, you can pull those out. Ask me how I know. I'll get a 2S LiPo. It does take up to 3S, but I'll just get a 2S or whatever I have at hand and I'll uh, let's plug her up and have a look. Okay, I put the battery in and as you can see, the, there's a little light flashing up here. It's pretty cool. It's like a bluey red colour. I'll uh, move the camera up so you can see it later on. But uh, now everything's plugged up. Now, there's an on and off switch just here in front of that tank. Switch that down to on and not too sure why but that light still flashes and you can still control the tank oh sorry the truck but anyway if you push it up you can hear it roar into life and the good thing about it because it's got a low and high gear it also does have you can hear the motor so it's in neutral argument sake so left and right and to lift the back of the truck the dump truck you flick this switch I'll show you and if you want to leave it there just push the switch back it doesn't have to go in a cycle you can push it back up again or lower it pretty cool so let's put it all the way up now that can lift five kilos but if I put five kilos it's going to slide back out of there but it definitely looks pretty steady and very sturdy as well I'll move the camera closer but we'll see how high it goes you can see the, the back tower gate drops down and once it gets up there it stops It goes pretty high. Yeah, it is pretty damn high. There we go. So that stops by itself. We don't need to touch anything and it won't come back down. So I'll show you around what's inside. It gives us a, a closer look as well. There's that light I was talking about. But there is inside this beast. Here is your, that's your gear selector there transfer case here's your little actuator and these two they're not pneumatic 
they must be on like a worm gear or something like that because they are very sturdy very that, that is metal uh, I'm not too sure if they're just for looks but that little actuator motor there is uh, be doing all the driving but uh, that housing it seems really steady and as you can see there's your battery underneath there as well so that actually I had a, a three cell soft pack so it's running on three cell at the moment now this upper C channel this more decorative one that is plastic the bottom one the main one is actually all uh, metal just like the other models as well as you can see up in the belly here you have your really nice detailed motor as well like I said this uh, imitation heat shroud is metal but everything down there is all metal uh, that uh, obviously the, the that's the center or the second axle there all this is plastic now inside them inside this plastic casing is your you're going to have your all metal and you're going to have your planetary gearbox and that's going to be made it up obviously to this transfer case here that casing is metal but all this decorative one here is plastic but that's fine um, a lot of other people have ripped this apart and had a look inside so I'm not too sure let me know if you really want me to have a look inside there but it is pretty complicated but uh, yeah this thing definitely is really really sturdy I've got a lot of a fair bit of weight on that now and it's not moving at all well that is yeah that would lift five kilos I'm pretty sure about that but uh, yeah nice closer look at the actual truck itself outside now it does have lights and sound so if I put the camera back down here let's start it back up again one of your blinkers like that as well pretty cool eh? now anyway, that's what I want to show you You can hold it there if you really want to. But, uh, down it comes. Look at these lights up here. They're pretty cool. Now, the problem with this manual, they don't always they don't always correspond to what they say, like these switches down here. Um, yeah, they're a bit funny sometimes. It's got it's kind of like a lucky dip sometimes with these with these lights and switches and all that kind of stuff. Because if you push up on this one here, that's your horn. It doesn't really do anything else, and uh, got some switches down here as well. But uh, let's try them together. That one does nothing, it seems. Anyone in the comments knows, let me know. But I do like that uh, array up the top. Now, where's the main set of lights? Now, it says smog here, but it's obviously not on the uh, the bomb proof one. It does have like a, a smoke machine. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I know it did have, it did have lights, but uh, let's put it in gear now. Put it in gear. It's this one here. You can see? Very touchy. Not full proportional as you'd expect. The steering servos feel really, really strong, that's for sure. And I don't know if these do anything. On my other models, they didn't really do much. Yeah, no. Just for you know, decorative, but uh, yeah, they didn't really do much, but um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how quick she goes. Now when you want to drive the tank and if you flick it up, the engine will start, the sound will start, and all the control is on this side here. Not a big fan of these type of controllers for cars, but for planes and tanks they are good, but I like the normal pistol grip, so everything is on this side. 
You have to go through the manual and double check how to activate all the lights and stuff because it does always it does have lights. You can see the blinker just there. Oh, there we go. You can see, I don't like that. I like those front lights to be on all, at all times. It's in low gear, so... Oh, it didn't go in properly. Now you can adjust that up here, I do believe. Oh, that didn't sound good. There we go. You can adjust... I was playing around with the actual adjustments for the gear selector. So there's... That's high gear. That's going pretty quick. Oh! I'm not used to having the controllers on one side, but... Does, does also have lights at the back as well. They like brake lights and stuff. Doesn't always work. Depends on the throttle position. There you go. There. But yeah, it's very uh, orange out here because of the recent bushfires that are in Sydney and the surrounding area. So the sun's like orange or gets blanketed like orange smoke. That's what might look orange out here. But pretty cool. I'll do more videos on this. Obviously, the recording gear. Still moves pretty damn quick, that's for sure. I'll do more videos of this later on. Just want to uh, kind of just show the unboxing. Have to at least get it moving. And those diffs, they are open, they're not locked, so I guess we're pretty, there'll be a lot of stress on the uh, components if they were, because it's like 9 or 10 kilos. Pretty cool. Alright guys, let me know what you think about this beast if you have it or if you're planning to get it. Link is in the description if you want to go check it out. If you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up and always please subscribe. It's for free and there's heaps of cool stuff coming out. But I'll try to figure out these instruction manuals better for that controller because it is a bit convoluted and it doesn't always make sense. But uh, if I'm going to dig a bit further into this guy and maybe pull it apart, let me know down below. But uh, as always, appreciate uh, you watching. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.